Alrighty. From our trip over to Trade Lake, Wisconsin. We hadn't been there for all of 35 years, maybe closer to 40 years. Mom wanted uh, three sunnies or three crappies or something like that. Fortunately, the guys I was with were able to catch some for you. <laughs> for her, so. If I had to rely on catching fish, I'd go hungry. But anyway, I'm going to try to clean these up like we used to do. Like Ma wants them, scaled, and uh, just pull the guts out. See how that goes. So, find my spoon here. Got my old spoon and get that out of the way. Because scaling fish gets messy, as I'm sure you all know. I remember doing this with my dad. The kitchen table, he'd come home and he'd have us scale them and he had a pair of scissors and cut the head off and pull the guts out. That's years ago, of course. Yep. Up on Clearwater Lake in Annandale, Minnesota is where he had his cabin. But when we were really young, he'd take us, all me and Bruce, my brother Bruce, he's, he's, uh, he's with Dad now, him and Todd and you know, with Dad, he would uh, take us off to Medicine Lake. Uncle Teddy had a house over there, but that didn't matter. He'd take us over to Medicine Lake and he'd rent a boat. I think it was like 50 cents. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but maybe it's 50 cents an hour. Me and Bruce would sit on the middle seat and we'd roll. And uh, Bruce had an oar, I had an oar, and Dad would take us out there and catch sunnies, crappies, and he'd drink beer, the old Schlitz cooler, I can still see it, kind of a brown or beige colored cooler, kind of cool. But he'd fill up the stringer that hung over the side of the boat and go home and scale fish. We were young. Eight, nine, ten. Scale. Seemed to me Bruce always found something else to do. That's the way it goes. Well, as I got older, I didn't like scaling fish anymore. Grandma Pika liked them this way too. She'd say, if you get any fish, just cut the heads off and leave the skin on. There's a unique taste of the skin, and it really is. And that's the way I like it too, but I knew I didn't like scaling fish like this. Such a long process, so I, me and my cousin Mikey, we used to uh, travel around a little bit, local lakes, get a bunch of sunnies, and uh, we, we explored uh, filleting fish. That worked out a lot better for me to fillet fish, so I started filleting fish, and I haven't scaled a fish in. Mm, I'm going to say 30 years, 25, 30 years, all of, yeah, all of that, 30 years, over 35 years. I've lived here for 35 years now and right on the corner, 48th and Colfax, across from Bohannon Park, North Minneapolis, 35 years now. And it's, uh, neighborhood's changed. 
really diverse. We got Asians, Nigerians, African Americans. Whoops. Uh, Liberians. All kinds of people. The Austrian across the alley, Fritz. He fought for Hitler in World War II. Boy, that guy's fun to talk to. I wish I'd have started recording him years ago when he really had a memory. Some of the stories he told me about how they'd fight over there. And he said none of them wanted to go to the Eastern Front. That was where the Russians were fighting and the Russians were really pissed off at the Germans. There was no, <laughs> no mercy in them fights. No survivors, no prisoners taken. So he said what him and his crew did, or their, his unit, they spent most of their time hiding. Even if they seen somebody coming to fight, they, they wouldn't engage. They, they just took uh, cover and let the threat pass. And then, uh, he says even they were questioning what was the reason for that war. And it was Hitler. Everybody knows that. Anyway, it's a far ways from talking about fish, but I just, I guess I was going after the diversity of the neighborhood and the people we have. His wife Harda, she's a dear old Freulein, Freulein, whatever you call the German women. They're from Austria, but same thing. I guess you could kind of say it's like the upper class Germans. I don't know. I'm just making that up, but just passing the time. Donna's over at Mom's right now. Her mom's mom just had a little procedure. So she's in the hospital overnight and she's doing okay. Doing good. They're over there cleaning up the garden and doing yard work and nice big yard. She's over there helping. Keeping it going. I'll be over there this weekend probably. Getting the lawn more going. Thank God it's a riding mower. <laughs> yeah, them scales fly. It's just the way it is with the scaling. And that's about it. Clean my hands up here. And Clean your hands too good. One more little crappie. As you can see, they're not monsters by any means. But if somebody wants a couple, you can get them for them, you bring them home. Mom's happy with them. I used to like eating them like this too. Grandma Pika, she'd cook them after we'd clean them up like this, cook them in the fry pan right on the stove. And she loved the tails and the fins. Crunchy. But these crappies got a unique taste. I don't know what it is. But if you take the skin off, they lose that taste. It's a, a, kind, a real distinct taste. Or it's like a walleye. Walleyes don't taste like anything. Walleyes taste like nothing. Like the salt and pepper you put on them or the butter, whatever you put on them. They don't have a taste as far as I'm concerned. Now perch to me have a taste. I like perch. So. Okay. Hup, hip, 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 hip. Alright, now. Clean your hands up. And You had a guy weld a ring on one end of it, 
and uh, he flattened the other end of it, heated it up and flattened it into a chisel and pound a hole in the ice. I remember we'd go over there and you could only fish one line at a time then. So he chiseled the holes because he didn't want us losing that axle. So <laughs> He'd chisel a hole, then he'd chisel another one, and we'd be cleaning out the other one and scuffing it out. And then he'd stop and take a break and have a cigarette. I didn't know at that time, probably 10, 11 years old, 12 years old, maybe 8, 9, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, somewhere in there. Mid-60s, early 60s, there's some crappie caviar. I know some people see this, they'll go, why did you throw that away? But anyway, Dad would finally get the four holes, and he had just the sticks, the round sticks with the points on the end, all homemade, of course, and black nylon on it, and He had any monofilament back then. If, I don't know if he did, he might put a piece on the front end of it, but it was always hooked. The black line would go right down to a gold hook, I remember. And you'd get a scoop of minnows on the way out. And get minnows and, geez, if I recall, it's 15 fish was the limit. I, thinking start filling up the bucket I swear he used to take those kids with just to get extra but I'll tell you you come home with 60 crappies or more or whatever it was and I'll tell you what that was no fun scaling all them crappies and <laughs> but anyway, I'll put this over here. Maybe you can see what I'm doing over here. Just cleaning them up and that's about it. Not much else going on with it. Just well, let's see here. There we go, I think. I don't know. Get all the oh, huh, scales there. Yeah, it's, I never cared for scaling because why? Well, it's not that I didn't dislike it. Uh, you always find more scales when you're done. It's kind of normal, I guess. Don't worry about the drain. I got a catch in it for the trappies or the uh, scales, so. Yeah, these are feeling pretty good. Feels good, they feel good. Clean them up. Come back in the sack. Like I say, three sunnies, three crappies, and, or three sunnies or three crappies. Well, she got both, so she can have a couple meals. Maybe share some with her little neighbor girl, Samantha. She's a little doll. I think we all like her. Everybody likes Samantha. Well, she doesn't. She doesn't get out very much. Hey, she's fun. Nice. She likes to come and take to be a little helper. That water is cold. I know it doesn't look like it. A little pink there on my hand is. I don't know all the sunscreen on. But I missed it. Or it rubbed off somehow. 
I had a wood tick site yesterday. I think I pulled four or five off in the boat. No one else seemed to have any, just me. That was uh, no fun. I got home last night and Donna had a... I took my shirt off. She goes, oh, you got wood tips. I had a couple more hanging on. Hanger honors. So. Yeah. Feels good. Oh, Dad used to clip. I know that they'd leave the tail on. I don't know if he'd clip these other fins, though. I'll leave that up to Mosh. She wants to do that. I mean, I, I don't I don't have a problem doing it. Maybe she likes to eat the fins like Grandma did. Okay. Yeah, me and Bruce booking her. And um, Cousin Mikey went over there yesterday and Trade Lake, Wisconsin. Had a pretty good time. I just started fishing again with Bruce a couple years ago. We go up to the Northwest Angle and I remember Bruce when I was a young kid, 20 years old, maybe 18, 20, 18, 19, mid 70s. Met, that's when I met Bruce and we kind of growed up. Met Bruce when I was a little guy and we all kind of growed up and moved away and did what we did and we just kind of started a couple years ago hanging out again. Kind of fun. Missed a lot of good years when he's a great guy. So's cousin Mikey. Okay, well, I'm just gonna bag these up and put them away. Dry my hands off and shut that off. Alrighty, I'll talk to you later.